Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and welcome to my another course in Udemy on Continuous Integration, Development and Deployment with Azure DevOps Service. And in this course, we are going to be discussing a lot more detail about Azure DevOps Service. So let's quickly discuss what are the things that we have been discussing in this particular course. So we have already discussed about continuous integration tools like build deploy test with Jenkins 2.0 and build deploy test with Team Foundation Server 2015 and also we discussed about 2017 but we have discussed mostly in terms of the dev and QA perspective uh, and also in Jenkins we discussed the same with the QA perspective but not even close to the business analyst and things of that nature. But in this course Azure DevOps Service we are going to be covering a wide range of audience not just QA and Dev but also DevOps, Business Analyst and even the manager who are doing a planning with the Scrum, Kanban boards and Agile process within the Azure DevOps tool. So there are different services which Azure DevOps Service provides to us and we'll be discussing almost all the services which is provided by Azure DevOps Service. And the services that we'll be discussing in this course are like Azure Boards, which delivers value to your users faster using proven agile tools to plan, track and discuss work across your team. And then we'll be discussing about Azure Pipelines. And within the Azure Pipelines, we'll be discussing about the release pipeline as well as the build pipelines. So basically the build pipeline is something that you'll be building the whole application itself. And in the release pipeline, we'll be deploying the application either in the local internet information server or in the Azure services or it can be a Kubernetes service. But in this course, we'll be discussing how we can deploy our application in our local internet information server with the help of build agent and deployment groups and different way of deploying. And the most important part of Azure DevOps service is that it supports different ecosystems, not just Windows, they also support Mac, Linux, and Windows operating system, and you can have the build agent running in any one of three operating systems which is available in the market right now, and one of the most popular operating systems available in the market. So Microsoft supports them all right now. And the next service that we'll be discussing in this course is Azure Repos. So within Azure Repos, we are going to be discussing how we can import a code from the GitHub or from the Azure Repos and how we can work with checking in the code and checking out the code and how we can use the cloud hosted private Git repos and things of that nature. And then we'll also be discussing about the test plans with Azure DevOps. So the test plans are something that you can create a manual test cases and then you can also associate an automated test in that and also you can run the exploratory test with the Azure test plans and things of that nature. So you can do all sorts of stuff with Azure test plans. And finally is the Azure Artifacts. So within this Azure Artifacts, we'll be creating our own artifact catch where it's going to hold all the different repositories, something like NuGet or Maven or Gradles and many different packages within itself so that you can just have one single repository link which you can give to your developers who can directly use that for the whole process. So it's going to be very, very helpful if you're going to work in a organization which is more secured and you don't really have to expose your developers to use the packages directly from the public rather the developers can use the packages which are meant to be used within your organization and that's what is Azure Artifacts. So we'll be discussing the whole lot of stuffs within this course and this course is going to be really exciting because we will be also doing the Selenium automated UI test within our release pipeline as well as in the build pipeline and we'll see how it spawns the different browsers and how it runs the test and also how you can see the report within it. So this course is going to be a complete end-to-end -end where you are going to be creating a complete SDLC of your application. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you will really like this course. Thank you.